Hey there, everybody. It's Dave Dyer Becker with Becker Art, and I'm here on the Celebrity Summit ship. And I don't know if you can see the ship. And I decided to do a piece right here. Um, a little windy here, but I started when it wasn't windy, and now it's getting picking up a little wind. And but anyways, we're going to be doing this scene right here. Let me turn this around real quick. And we're going to be doing this scene right here. There were some people sitting there before and standing there, but here's my image. So this is what we're going to be painting. I'm just going to do a really quick little study of this. Um, I'm going to try to do, hopefully, do it really quickly <laughs> and, um, before the sun goes down. And um, boy, I hope this doesn't, it seems like it's getting windier and windier. I hope you guys can hear me. It's that windy. So let me just put this up here really quick and focus this. See if you can see it. All right, so the bottom part is not showing. Palette. Let me just move this over a little bit. Hold on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I have to get the volume so you can hear, actually hear me. Get the whole that covered. And so I think. That is okay. One second. All right, that's probably about the best I'm gonna get. And so we're gonna do, and actually, can you see? Here's what we're gonna be painting. Just over a little bit, so sorry. I had this all set up, but it, um, I didn't want to cover the hole where you can hear me. I think I'll do it like that. You can see it. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me uh, from the wind. Uh, the wind is very, very strong. I'm hoping you don't actually hear the wind. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the sky a little bit. Right now it's really white out there. I'll put a little bit of blue in it like it was just recently, just a little bit before this. It's a little bit nicer, a little bit warmer. I uh, keep a child out here. Like I said, right now there's not a blue sky out there, but we're going to make it blue because it was blue at one point. I think it's lighter as it went down to the horizon line, so we're going to put that in there real quickly. And then we're going to pick up some grays in the bottom of the boat. It was a little reflection of the sun or the sky into the the boat because it's um, it's darker when you squint your eye the, the sky is basically the lightest and then we're going to get it darker as we go down or lighter as we go down with the sky and then the water is right there and so we're going to put the water in and it's nice and wavy i've been studying waves today too a little bit studying how they how they um where the darks and lights are and though we're not going to basically see much of that but, excuse me uh, we we're on the Celebrity Summit out of Miami, and so I'm here not doing a workshop. I'm just here looking to see if I can maybe do a workshop. This is basically a business trip for me. I'm here alone, and I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to do these. I can do these with you guys to do like a workshop on here. A nice business trip, I guess you could say. So I'll be painting all week. I'll be painting all week. Um, I'm gonna try different things. I got some great shots in the evening last night from out of Miami. That was really cool. And so again, I'm gonna go right over this part of the of the railings because those are my lightest parts. And I might as well put them right into the into the. Actually, I'm not gonna put them into the ground of the of the ship because I want that to be um, light. And it's going to be, actually, actually, it's going to be the color of the sky, because it, it's basically brown or beige. And then I'll do a little orange in my blue. Now my palette here a little bit. I'm using my plain air palette, so i got to get used to that again. So as I go down here, I'm going to put a little bit of the blue into my orange to get a, a grayish color for the for the deck. 
down here like this. It's going to be light. And again, you always do your lights later. But I'm kind of wetting my surface with a little bit of orange, a little bit of blue. So as we make this a little bit beige, on our second wash, we'll make it a little bit into the blue, into the sky. You go. That's basically our lights, and then we'll go into our darker, darker darks. We're still getting our lights, trying to get, it. but most everything besides the sky and the water and my part here is by my lights. Everything else, the boats, even though the boats are white, they're going to be my darker areas. So my middle tones, my middle tone dark. So that's my second watch. So if I look up here, make that a little grayer. Yeah. Okay, this is right above me. I have to look. I forgot this is right above me. So let's make that a little bit darker. Warmth that there is projecting up into this area right here. A little bit of warmth. Oh, right under the sky. A little bit, a bit of warmth in through there. And again, this is my middle tone darks. It's not my lights, but I'm going to put a little bit of warmth in there and then put a little bit of um, Prussian or um, permanent violet. Like wrapped around, <laughs> can't kind of maneuver. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta just change this a little bit. All right, now I can go in front of it. <laughs> Have my leg wrapped around the the tripod, and so now we're just gonna go in here. See if anybody can hear me. <laughs> Bring them on camera. Oh, can you see my leg? <laughs> Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Uh, I'm looking at you right now. I hope you can hear me. It's pretty windy, like I said, the ship is um, pretty windy out here at the moment. So this part right here is pretty dark, so I'm going to make that wet and then just get do this boat separately from the background boats. So I wet the whole thing right down to the keel right here of the boat. It's a little light right above me. So I actually got to hold the... <laughs> It's wobbling because it's it's picking up wind. And I didn't expect it to be that windy, right? It wasn't this windy when I started. It was getting the afternoon, and um, we're heading probably straight into the wind. That with us moving, making it pretty hairy here right now. It's a nice, nice dark in here, right next to the keel. It's a little bit darker. wipe out a little bit of paint right here because I want that to be this is the other boat behind it so I'm going to wipe that out a little bit and I'm going to still make it dark like the sky or a little darker than the, the sky so I do want to put a little bit of blue in here that's going to just shift from the front boat to the back boat here and then right away to this dark right underneath there and my smaller brush the working smaller area it's going to be a really dark orange. So we're going to go back to that orange and purple. And um, a little lavender. Just kind of go in there and just get the darks. This is my dark tones now. And I don't want to make it just super dark. 
dark um, gray. There's a little bit of warmth that are reflecting from the ground. The ground is a tan color, so that's reflecting up into the up into the boat. Now we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna again try to make sure that the boat on top is a bit darker. Rub out a little bit. Rub out some pigment there. See how I paint through things because this all this right I have here is all my darks. Those are all my darks. So now this is the bottom part that's a little bit darker. I'm putting this in a little bit darker area. trying to make all the darks come together as one. You always try to do that. You try to make the, the darks all kind of blend together as one area. And then make beautiful washes on that. Can you see? Thanks everyone for letting me know that you can hear. of these are really light but underneath there's a little dark. Wow, is it getting windy? <laughs> and the high seas, I guess. Darker. So it'll take me a little bit longer than normal because it's just slightly harder than most subject men that I've been doing. So I'm gonna try to keep it simple. Try to go simple with it and try to go through just do the big areas first. So then the, the ship itself is a dark celebrity blue that is kind of like a um, ultramarine, kind of a dark ultramarine. It's a little fresh in it. So I'm going to put that in right away. What the heck? I'm going to put in a dark blue. And get the darks in. As I'm going along, I'm just placing all the Back here, you can combine it combines with the um, lounge chairs that are stacked up over there. Not many people on this deck for some reason. They're all up, up on top, which I was not going to paint there. There's just so many people up there. Um, that was not my ideal place to paint. <laughs> and this is um, somebody asked me why I'm painting this section. I just I love all the boats there, hanging there, and I like the propellers. I thought that was kind of cool that I had the propellers right there. So let's see, this is underneath this boat. This is the, this is the bottom of that boat. And then you have to make sure you separate the keel from the rest of the boat. Here there's a little thing happening there. We'll put in detail later. Again, always go for your big parts. No matter what, always go for your big parts first. So I'm just putting in my large areas. Even in plain air, um, stick with like this. This is all always in shadow, so I have no problem with keeping the light just the way it is. There's no sun on this. It's just no direct sun. So it's pretty easy to get looking like it what it is. It will not change. Itself. And let me do the ground now, actually. The ground is kind of, like I said, brownish. And the chairs are darker, so I can just go through everything down here in the big area. So I'm going to make this all wet. I'm going to do this big area of dark brown. Brown and beige, basically. So I'm just going to start with a light beige and add my darks to it. Make it straight down. It's going to be kind of soft edge going down here. So, uh, to 
make a beige, I take purple and orange. I take purple and orange, and that's what I'm going to use to darken this area. It gives me a um, gives me kind of a brownish, purplish brown. And since I want this edge to be kind of soft edge, I'm going to wet beyond this a little bit clean water and I get that water from the puddles in the, on the ship on the little edges right here because I couldn't find any water thing and so um, I just got it from the wet deck <laughs> so I'm using natural water that came off the boat They actually had this roped off for a little bit. They were doing a little maintenance on this area. And I'll do each one of these individual little posts right here. First, I'm going to wet it again. I'm going to slightly wet it so I get a little bit of the post in there. This is wet again. When anything is wet, when it's um, when it's wet when you're painting it, it's going to reflect like a lake or a puddle. It's going to um, just show a reflection straight down from wherever the object is. So here we got a person, here we got the light post, or whatever that is. There you got the post, oh that's holding up the boat parts. So in here I'm going to take some, a little bit more paint and take these little, each one of these little um, posts, railing, a little bit of a, it's also showing into the, um, into the deck, but you got to make it really light, just a light reflection. Here there's a bigger reflection from that, and kind of make them dissipate, make them wet them and then let them dissipate. So just bring them down and let them dissipate into the, into the, into the walk. The little lines that are on there, that can um, that can be put in later. Those will be put in later. And now let's get some of that reflection of the blue in there. So the blue from the sky we're reflecting here too a little bit. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. Wet. Anything that reflects it reflects the colors above it. So those are two big parts again. Again, nothing detailed yet. Still getting our big stuff. These chairs back here are darker than the walls. So I should have went with the blue right through with that. So let's just go back to the blue back there. Let's just make that go right through the wall. And then I'll put the chairs in front of that. Hopefully you can hear something, if you don't, um, at least I'm, I'm going to watch it later and I'll maybe cut it short and I'll just make it a very really fast video. <laughs> Let's see, but hopefully you can hear me and if you can hear me, that's a good thing. Now this um, window right here is going to reflect the moon of that right there. Down. Make this dark, and I'm going to make it the color because it's basically reflecting. It's like a mirror. It's reflecting what's over here. And this is 
metal, there's a lot of stainless steel on this, and so um, the metal will be um, going to make it reflective. So I'm going to keep it light, and then I'll put some blue in there and make it darker and make it dark. Dark blue right here. getting smaller and smaller and so we're getting to our detail stages where we're going to go in there and get all the little details. I should have put a life ring in there, an orange life ring. They're not right there, they're way back here. I should have put one in there, just I may do that anyways. It's a good thing to get the life rings in there. Nice orange. Alright, so this boat now here, this part is really really dark. Start out with a little bit of black even, because I want to get it really dark. Right here on this part of the boat, there's already dark parts. And this part of the boat actually is dark too. And there's a little... Let's go over this way, and then it's bumps against the boat. Try to make some of these colors all blend together as one. You gotta remember, you gotta kind of make things blend together. Um, it's not important to look up here, and so you kind of want to make the washes not so hard edge, not so contrasty, because I want your eye to come contrasty right here. That'll happen. darker. Get into more details now. So we'll make this part of the boat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> more detailed as you go along, picking up all the big big things first. Always go smaller and smaller, figure out what's in front of what, what's darker than what something is in front of it. I didn't draw enough of this in here to see what all the stuff was, so I'm going to pick a bunch of this up here. Yeah, 
stage now because I pretty much got my big areas done, so now I gotta get my my details going. Now this I'm gonna make a bright, brilliant orange because that's what the color these boats are. So in here I'm just gonna put a nice bright orange. Show the color of these boats. It's the only place now I know that's kind of a, a no no, but I'll put it somewhere else. Like I said the, the ring, I'll maybe put a ring over here, a life ring. That's the same color orange. see any more orange unfortunately we also can give the guy or the woman an orange shirt that's what I'll do right now I'll give them, <laughs> just so I remember I'll give her a little bit orange <laughs> and of course I'll make her a redhead because it's going to make all the ladies in my picture so I'll make that, a, make that up there See how far we got to go with all the. We're basically at our details, so might as well start with your center of interest and go from there. So for that center of interest, I'll take my small round. And um, these nice dark colors here because they are very, very dark because they're against the light. So, so as, because they're silhouetted, and I just kind of screwed her up there a little bit. Oh well, that arm. Again, when the sun is in front of you, and basically it's on the other side of the boat, uh, but we're looking into the brightest spot. This spot right there is the brightest spot. So we got to make sure that that right there. Let's give him a really. Again, orange and blue is our complements of this painting, so I might as well give him an orange, orange shirt. So we'll put him in there like that. We'll make it a little bit darker. Again, also because again it is silhouetted. You have to get, you have to catch the, the. Um, silhouette shape because that's what it would be. It would be really dark. Even if that person had white pants on, it would still be it would still be dark because it's right against the light, the lightest light of, of the whole painting. It would be the lightest part of the whole painting, so we have to still put a light color there. You can also put like flesh tone right here, but it has to be dark then. And so I always like to put the dark in first and lay the lay the color on top of the dark. So now we're getting all those details, all the little details that you want to put in the picture to make it look really nice. Here are the, um, the reason I picked this is because of the propellers of the boat. bag hanging over this thing. I do have to actually hold the canvas so it doesn't fly at me. Here's the railing now. I'm going to try to do it as straight as possible. I've got my finger over it. I should take it sideways. I go on the side like this. I got to get up.
little squiggly, but again, we're outside. What can you do about that? Not quite quick, so we're going to just try to do a nice quick line straight down. It's easier to go downwards. Downwards motion is always a little bit easier. Again, somebody had asked me before when I was sketching it up, why would I paint this here? Why would I paint this? It's not so touristy, but I'm not into touristy pictures. You know, a touristy picture is the sunset with the boat in the background. I, I like the idea of just playing parts of the ship, and I'm going to do that the rest of the week, too. I'm going to do parts of the ship, and I kind of like that idea. I love the, the look of this. I love how the reflections, when uh, they were wet right here. Life, life there. Maybe we'll put one right over here. There's one right next to me here, and I can look at it while I'm painting it. And it has a line all over it. There's a little box right here from the road I was into. And there's, on these things, there's a little beacon that goes with it so that they can pick those people up. There's a little light beacon. That all the little lines and stuff. There's a lot of lines in this. That's what I love about uh, nautical seats. Just all the ropes and lines and my favorite part. So then there's a bunch of lines holding these boats up actually. Well, not holding them up, just steadying them. Like a line right here, cable. There's all kinds of little lines that are Howling, or is it not hitting there? the microphone? I wonder. Let me know. I'd like to know if, if you can actually hear anything. I'll, I'll look at it later and see. <laughs> going to help this out a lot is the lines, actual lines and actual... Now let's get this keel a little bit darker and identify the keel of the boat.
probably going to do tomorrow, I'll probably do a, a painting of the kitchen. We got, I got a tour of how they cook all this food on this, on this cruise. And the kitchen is gigantic. You wouldn't believe how, these, how gigantic these kitchens are. And there's over hundreds of people down there on the, the bottom deck. And like two things of storage of all the food. And so I got some really nice shots camera wise. I won't be able to keep paint down there, but I think I want to try to do some paintings of that, some of the imagery, a lot of stainless steel down there. Lighten that up a little bit or darken it up a little bit. I don't want to make it totally white, white. It's, even though it's um, light, it's not white. Except uh, on the one part of the window, which you can just kind of see right in the upper corner there, right up here, you can see that. See how white it is right there? So I guess there is a little white. I didn't have to cover that up. <laughs> okay, we'll put that, bring that back. And what do we have here? We have some more wires again here. And later on, what I'll do is I'll go through this and look through it in a little bit more detail with my picture and, and uh, my, my camera. And we'll go back in and try to get some other things done on it. Now I'm going for my lines that go straight down. This is perspective now. This will give it a really nice perspective going. And you can do this with a pencil and a ruler if you wanted to. I won't have to. I'm just going to do it really quickly with my finger. See, it just gives you a perspective of everything. And they're not even. That's okay. Again, this is not a studio paint, this is a, this is a plain air piece, so it's a little bit harder to make that look super, super, that's a little bit darker. I think we're almost close to done, guys. Keep it nice and simple. And I think this part of the boat has to be a little bit darker than the sky. Have a little bit of reflection in there, but we basically want the boat to be this part of the boat to be a little bit darker. So I think we pretty much got it, guys. Let me just show you it straight on, and then <laughs> I hit the wrong button. So here's what we have. For finished piece, I'll probably make this area when I get done here. I'm gonna make this in here just slightly darker, so that I pop pop everything out. I'll make that a little bit darker, but I will do that so you don't have to watch anymore. <laughs> Thanks a lot for um, watching this, and I'll be posting it on YouTube in a little bit. A couple of people who have passed by said uh, I gave them my card, and so they went to see <laughs> what it was finished like. So they'll see it also. Thanks for that, and we'll see you probably tomorrow. I'll probably do another one tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.